Okay, so I'm just going to do a very quick radial blur tutorial with Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 5. Uh, Lightroom 5 introduced the radial blur feature that 4 didn't have, and it's extremely useful. So we've got this picture of flower here, and I'm going to just show you very briefly some of the things which radial blur can do for you. So you're going to go into develop, and we're going to click this little thing here. Now you're going to get this, you can drag it, and as you can see with mine, I've got it set so that uh, when I drag it, the saturation's zero. So we're just going to drag it all the way up here. Now, just remember that as default, the mask either will or will not be inverted. So it'll be changing everything outside of the mask here. And when you click invert mask here, it'll be changing everything inside. So let's change everything outside and say that I really wanted to, I know you want to blur this out. So the best way to do this is to go uh, and really reduce the clarity. That will blur everything out. Um, okay, now I'm just going to do a uh, one of those selected color images here. So I'm going to make this so that the flowers are in uh, color, but everything else isn't. And... Uh, Let's just tighten this up a little bit. And uh, so there we go. And then press enter. And the flowers will be in color, but the background won't. And if you do it again on the flowers and go invert mask, because you can have more than one mask on a picture, and change the uh, saturation inside the flowers, change the clarity inside, shadows, all of that good stuff. Uh, change the contrast and the exposure. OK. And then uh, you can go and adjust the properties of the whole picture. So let's just say I wanted it like that. And then, uh, you know, because the highlight priority is pretty much compulsory. And you're going to get a really nice image that looks like that. Now, radial blur isn't just useful for uh, selected coloring. It's also really useful for bringing out colors and uh, doing other things as well such as, well, say I didn't want this saturation to be zero, so I wanted it to be more saturated, I could get my image to look like that. And so I wanted the uh, clarity to be increased, I could get it to look like that. So the best thing to do is really just to have a play around and see what you like, and basically just keep adjusting the image until you get something that you really like and what you really uh, want. So thanks for watching my tutorial on Lightroom 5 Radial Blur.